guys, welcome back to the review and today I'm going to talk about the episode 2 trailer of Treadstone. Sorry for the late review, had uh, some family time so I couldn't get to it as fast as I wanted to. Hope to get the third one out pretty soon once it airs on Tuesday night. Just want to make sure you guys are aware, uh, if you haven't watched the episode yet, stop what you're doing. Watch the episode first, then come back and see us. Don't want to spoil anything for you, so make sure you watch that episode and then watch us and leave all your comments and listen to everything we got to talk about today. So, just wanted to talk to you about basically what happened this episode. So, there was about, I want to say about six different type of scenes as to what hasn't transpired in this episode from the last episode. So, the first one I want to talk about is with John. Uh, basically the guy from 1973 who seems to be the first cicada uh, test subject basically he doesn't remember what he he did what he's done but we did get a lot of backstory and it seems to be a little bit more of a backstory with him and Petra uh, which is the Russian woman so we basically find out that he's been gone for about nine months he was in operation to try to find out what Cicada was all about and with that interpretation or within that mission he found out that he was that these people were brainwashed and basically that he was trying to confirm the project being in existence and if so either kill the scientists or or somehow figure out a way to learn a little bit more about it which he got captured and he was like I said locked up for nine months with that being said, he also got to be debriefed by his superiors, which his superiors felt that his story was a little bit missing of some type of information. With that, he, he tried to explain what he could remember, but he couldn't remember anything because of the brainwashing effects. He wasn't really fully transformed into a cicada, so to speak, because of the fact that the transformation or the progression of his uh, hypnosis hasn't been really in effect and we'll talk about it a little bit in a minute but uh, he escapes the headquarters of the CIA and that was the reason why because he felt that he would be locked up and never believed on it, as well, far as he knows his family he doesn't even know he exists and because of that he just needs to feel or want to disprove everyone that he is not a traitor to his country and things of that sort. That's one of the things. So we get to talk about a little bit more about Petra and her backstory. So in her backstory, we get to find out in present day time, she buries the guy who she was living with in the farm after killing her for, or killing him from finding the Stiletto 6 rocket in her barnyard, <laughs> basically. And uh, with her doing that, she feels that she needs to report this information to her superiors so she goes into an office that seems pretty much unused never been used in some time and because of that it was uh, calls in a, an, a location which that location seems to not understand what she's saying it's like a gum factory or the company's called gum I don't know that thing but anyways <laughs> uh, that person on the other end doesn't recognize the code that she's trying to give and finds that something's happened either that she's been forgotten by her own people or they just don't want to involve with her or something to that effect so that she decides to leave the farm gets on a train and goes to i'm assuming moscow to find out what's going on and reaches out to an old friend of hers who seems to know her pretty well which we don't know who he is just yet because that's probably in episode three we're going to see pretty soon who that where that story lies but we get to see a little bit about her younger self in 1973 that after the escape from John that she gets yelled at by superiors and the superiors are really upset at the fact that she let this person go someone who's being you know could be a re real asset to the US I'm sorry to Russia against the US because he is a US you know operative and to get that person brainwashed and used for Russia's use is actually a well uh, investment so to speak for Russia so she's getting yelled at by her superiors which basically is the one that she's getting yelled at is 
basically acting so to speak because you find in the next scene they start sleeping with each other and discussing about you know ways to to I guess, improve the situation and that she, if she doesn't show some type of results that he may have to kill her and things of that sort so we don't know how that story ends in probably episode three and you know in the coming futures may explain a little bit more that relationship from that superior side but we'll f see who who he is really from or what he's all about so we talk about now brian brian is the guy who's the american oil rigger who is basically trying to figure out what his life's all about now that he lost his job we get into a scene that basically finds himself in a pool or some type of water atmosphere that he's locked up in a chain and he wakes up and realizes that he needs to escape and get some air. He looks around, finds a key, sees this key on the floor, and he swims to it. And then as he's swimming to it, some person comes and attacks him and tries to, to, to kill him or tries to stop him or whatever the case may be. And it turns out that he gets the, the roles reversed and then he, Brian is the one who kills this guy. Now, I have two theories about this one. And it may be strange, but it may be also true so there could be one theory is that he is a in his training method right now where he is finding out that he needs to survive and he kills another candidate and obviously he doesn't give a shit who this person is either by he doesn't know that person or he just doesn't remember or he doesn't recognize but he kills this person because the training is complete so to speak or this is basically a subliminal or some type of conscious type of reaction like you know there's brian the oil rigger and then there's brian the cicada and i think those would one two that one is winning over the other or in killing each other like a split personality type of thing so i'm thinking one or those two may be what happened i'm leaning towards the more conscious of uh, the, t the two personality aspect because that might be more of a logical thing as to why there's someone going underneath the water trying to escape and they're being locked down, both of them, kind of thing. So, anyways, we, we move forward also that he goes back home. He seems to be living in Kentucky and he gets to his house and he sees his wife who's extremely excited and after an intimate moment of their of the reunion, he starts talking about certain things about his what happened in the rig and wants to find a better life for her. So as we saw in last episode, we saw that Brian got a picture and in the picture it showed a street address. And at the end of this scene or the end of this interaction with Brian, he feels like he needs to research who this person is. Why does he have this picture? What's the purpose behind it? So he researches is that this is a... A local bar I guess nearby his house and he goes and pursues what this may be and that's where we leave the scene to be that we don't know what it's gonna happen and it won't happen until next week uh, or next episode when we find out what this is all about all right so the special agent that we were we were watching in the uh, first two episodes I guess we found out his name where I just didn't pay attention to the name because I didn't think he was a significant a character but he's starting to become one his name is Matt Edwards and uh, he's the one who's trying to get uh, Tara the journalist to, to help him out and get some information about why the general defected so as he's trying to find out why Treadstone is still active and going to the CIA lady Michelle Forbes character to find out why Treadstone is still alive she he realizes there's a magician who was deals with hypnosis and wants to understand what how what and how hypnosis works and goes and meets this person and sees a show and in the show I, which i found is actually a really funny scene just because i love the fact of how they really got the capturing of the hypnosis from the this person who basically we find out is the one who was involved with treadstone and treadstone was with his help he basically found candidates that are more susceptible to hypnosis and he does some type of evaluation on each candidate and is able to recognize which candidate needs or is better for brainwashing 
and becomes the perfect whisper type of thing. <laughs> so it was cool how they showed the scene of how he explains to Matt how it works with hypnosis by showing him a demonstration about a bartender who he congratulates him for his birthday and fills his cup with more alcohol and he shows him this twice the first time he didn't realize that, that was happening and then the second time it happened again and then he realized that was all hypnosis because matt was still in the fence that he was full of shit and, and he was disproved right in front of him with the guy doing the same thing saying the same words and the same interaction so it was actually really cool how they brought that in play and they talk about uh, how the magician found some evidence that these cicadas are waking up because when Matt revealed that to him he's like I already know <laughs> and he finds an evidence about this guy who basically takes down like six people or five people in some type of gas station and kills them with precision and accuracy and speed and this obviously Matt's realizing his techniques and he's pointing out that this is an example of why this person is awake basically trying to understand why this person is happening he won't know until matt sits down with this guy and he wants this magician to tag along and find out what's his deal and see what he can do to try to understand who is waking all these cicadas up and doing we also find out based on this explanation that the longer some cicadas stay asleep the more the, the brainwashing effects diminishes. And it's either that they don't remember their skills, their past lives, or they don't remember anything. Or, or they just do an action, that's it. So they remember their physical aspect, aspects behind it, but they don't remember their memories or things like that sort. So I'm not really sure or clear on that one, and I hope to understand it more in the next coming episodes. So we got you know eight more episodes left. Hopefully in one of those episodes we'll get to understand it a little bit more. All right, so we get to see Tara now meet the daughter of the general who just passed away. And she's explaining to this daughter that people are gonna come and get her and that she was sent by her father to get her and take her to the embassy. So we see a real kind of trying to building of trust she, try, she doesn't believe him, it says that she was going to call her father when she finds out her father died right there and then. She be, then believes it a little bit more because she had that locket that Tara got from the general in the first place. So <clears throat> they get into a scene where they're taking a car ride to the embassy or an Ecuadorian embassy and finds out that they're being chased by the Korean government, an assassin to kill the daughter and stop her from going into the embassy. So the car chase alone was definitely reminding me of the scenes that I used to watch in the actual Born Identity. So I love the fact that they're bringing this type of world back into the, the screen and showing that type of action involved. That was one of the exciting parts of the, sh of the episode, I think. And I think they should have more of that, but we'll soon find out if they can continue. They are definitely living up to the Born environment of fighting and car chases and things of that sort we find out that in the car chase that they get into an accident at the end but just before they get an accident the assassin kills the boyfriend who was in the back seat of the daughter so i don't know if that's a significant role if the daughter's gonna flip and she's gonna you know do something that she's not supposed to i don't know what that's gonna be but We'll find out if that's a significant role for the daughter, if the daughter becomes a major character, if she doesn't become a major character. I just, I don't know. I don't think that, I don't know what's the purpose yet for the daughter. If the, it's just a development for Tara as to being a journalist and understanding the whole story, or is this just something else? Don't know. All right, so last part of the episode or the last part of characters we get to see in this episode is the Korean uh, girl. And I'm going to say Korean assassin because I don't know her. I don't know how to pronounce the name and I don't want to butcher it any more than I have already. So the Korean girl or Korean assassin, she goes to the park with her son, finds out some more information by the son as to how she, he obtained this Game Boy with the, you know, lullaby to activate her. And finds out after some hesitation that a man came up to him gave him the game boy and gave 
instructions to give this to his mother. So he, she was a little puzzled as to why. She finds out that this guy is walking right by her and staring at her for just a slightly little bit in a military uniform and just walks away. So as we find out in the in the scene or the episodes as follows that the lady that the husband gets a surprise from a colonel that works with him in the government and the colonel is inviting him to a uh, drink and in that time frame when before this even happened she was having a conversation with the husband about maybe going and defecting to South Korea because there's so much violence and so much things that she just didn't want to be involved with apparently and when they were just about to have a conversation about it that's when the colonel pops in and she was a little hesitant because she was afraid that the government would come and take her attack her take her son something to that effect and hides a blade right inside her top where it would be more concealed and plays it off and finds out that she want that the husband's gonna go out for a drink with the colonel and after they left the son confides to the mom saying that the man who asked about the Game Boy was the Colonel. So we find out that the Colonel is somehow involved. We don't know what involvement it is, whether it was that they worked under the general and you know knew all about the, the cicadas or was it something else. So we'll find out hopefully in the coming episodes what this is all about with the Korean assassin. And then we later find out that once the husband comes back from this little gathering, that the husband got promoted to a new position. And the result of that position was because the general had died. So she starts remembering the fight that she had with the general to kill him and realizes that her purpose was to get the promotion for her husband somehow some way it all blended in together which is kind of cool and it kind of makes sense a little bit now as to why someone would want to kill that man or that general so i thought it was kind of interesting and kind of fun they talk a little bit about the discussion about defecting and says that this is not what we're going to talk about again we're going to have a happy life and that's it so i don't know how they're going to be <laughs> i think that somehow that this this korean woman is going to be turned in and she's going to fight her way through with her son and somehow maybe kill her even her husband that's my thought i'm not sure if that's going to happen but we'll see how it is well that's all i have for you today thanks for watching guys really appreciate you taking the time to watch my episode please please hit that like and subscribe button let me know that you guys really want to hear more of this as well as any additional content that you'd like to see leave a comment below let me know and i'll make sure to try to do it i'm trying to think about more episodes or more shows i could do this on if you like those things leave a comment and let me know thanks again for watching have a wonderful day guys